So you're looking to do some keyword research and you want to do it for free. Well, luckily, in my opinion, the Google Ads Keyword Planner is the best keyword research tool you can use. I've been doing marketing for the past four years and specifically Google Ads, and I wouldn't use anything else. I don't feel the need or the benefits from paying for an external software to do your keyword research. And I work for a marketing agency, so I have that at my hands, but I don't use it. Just before we get started, I thought it'd be quite good to give you a strategy breakdown as to sort of steps and the order of what we're going to do things with this keyword research. Okay, so the first step we're going to do is identify our general keyword or keywords that we want to expand on with this keyword research. So this is more up to you. You'll have an idea based on the service you offer or maybe the titles on your website. I can't help you too much with identifying this one. But once you have it, we then put it into the Google Ads Keyword Planner and I like to filter by search volume. From this keyword research, our aim is to sort of identify the different ad groups that we are going to be targeting with because you may have one keyword search that has different ways of actually searching it in the English language on Google. We are then going to put these into separate ad groups. So the example I give, we start with one keyword, literally one keyword, and we then identify four different ad groups that we can use from this one particular search. And the benefit of putting these into separate ad groups is we can be more particular with our ad copy and tailor it to the searches that people are inputting with and that we are bidding with with our keywords. The idea with Google Ads is to be as specific as possible. So we want our ad group keywords to literally match exactly what we have within our ad copy. Okay, so that's why it's always good to split them out into more ad groups, then piling everything into one ad group. Once we've then identified our sort of ad groups that we want to use, we will do further keyword research with these identified ad groups so we can basically make sure we haven't missed any searches from our initial general keyword search. And then this is just another important slide to, to go on. When I use, when I do my keyword research, I like to basically stick to one or two keywords for our initial search. For this example I give, I literally just use one keyword and we identify four different ad groups. So the reason I do this is because I like to know the exact searches that are coming from a particular keyword. But this is just my style, okay? You find your own, whatever works best for you. There's no right or wrong with this. For the second point, I recommend around 10 keywords per ad group. The reason for this is because you will struggle to find 10 plus keywords that are very similar to each other. And our aim with each ad group is to have very similar keywords within each of them. And if they're not similar, then they need to go into their own ad group. Okay, because we need to be specific with our, uh, our then going on to do our ad copy and making sure we have message match all along. And final point really is don't overthink it. When you start a new campaign, you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna be in more in the unknown. So you're gonna start more broad, but then it's our job to refine it, refine the campaign with our search terms that actually show data we are gaining from our searches. So if I just move my head here, the sort of refining we're gonna be doing with our uh, within our optimization is adding keywords based on our search terms, pausing keywords that aren't performing and are just soaking up budget, and then also populating our negative keywords constantly. If anything that shows up in our search terms that just aren't relevant at all to what we want to be gaining as a conversion, then we will put it into our negative keyword list. So let's go over an example of what we would do. So in my previous video, I've been, been over some Google ad copy and how to create ad copy using this exact framework. Uh, this is a really useful video if you want to create some highly persuasive Google ads. So I recommend going to watch that if it's in the top corner, top right hand corner, or if it's below in the video. Um, I'm new to this, so, so bear with me. <laughs> um, so for this example, we're going to be doing an emergency plumber. Uh, within the Bristol area. This is totally made up. I don't have this client. This is just uh, made up for demonstration purposes. So I've never done it for this sort of client before. So I mean, I will be doing it in the same position you would be with a brand new client or your own service or product. Okay, so for this example, we're gonna be using emergency plumber as our sort of target keywords. And then we want to see what other keywords we can be targeting within that sort of search query. So, okay, literally, let's copy and paste this. So, emergency plumber, and what I'm gonna do, um, I already have it open here, but I'm gonna go back completely to the home page of Google Ads. 
um, and walk you through how you get to it. So under tools and settings, we want to go to under planning and keyword planner. And then when we're within here, we want to click on discover new keywords. And when we're here, we're literally just going to copy and paste exactly what we had in our in our plan. So emergency plumber, I typically you can typically fill this up with as many keywords as you like. But I personally like to do one at a time because that's just my style. I think it's a bit more cleaner and I know the keywords related to that specific search term or keyword. Um, but that's up to you, okay? Marketing is solely about style. People, there are multiple different ways to achieve that one uh, that one aim. So it's about finding your own style. This is just how I do it. So on the emergency plumber, we want to click on the United Kingdom because it's will default to the United Kingdom. Um, but obviously this one is using Bristol as its target area because that's where I'm from. So we're gonna click on save. So we now have the keyword in here and we now have our location targeting here. And we wanna click on get results. Now this is what it will typically uh, bring up to you. And it's exactly what you need. So we, just to remind it, we have emergency plumber in Bristol, England, United Kingdom, and we have the default here to the last 12 months worth of data. Okay, and that's good, that's just what we need. I would recommend just leaving it as is, okay? Get used to the defaults. And what I typically do is filter by average monthly searches. So this is gonna show the most searches to start with, and it's gonna go down in search volume. Uh, and this is interesting to see, so we have 100 to 1,000 searches per month for Emergency Plumber. And typically what I'm gonna go down and do is we can see emergency plumber is showing up in here, here, and here, emergency plumber London. Okay, it's not something we want to use. Emergency plumber services near you. So you get an idea of the searches that are popping up. Um, so from this, what I'm initially going to do is I'm going to start with emergency plumber, but I can also see 24 hour is popping up quite a lot, and same day and urgent. So there's sort of four different ad group ideas I'm getting from looking at these searches. But let's start with Emergency Plumber. So what I'm gonna do now is gonna go to a brand new, brand new Google Sheets, and I'm gonna paste down the ad group here, which I'm gonna have Emergency Plumber. And typically what I do is I'd have this open this this uh, page open on a separate monitor, uh, so I can just go back and forth and literally transfer it from one to the other. Uh, but I can't do that for this one, so I'm literally just going to copy and paste it from here and pop it into there. Okay, so emergency plumber near me. Emergency plumbing services. Okay, I'm just going to speed through this, so uh, I'll see you when I'm finished with this. Okay, so that's pretty much with what we want to do for emergency plumber ad group. Um, so from this, we've got some some keyword ideas. They're all very, very they're all very very similar. However, one I had to change was emergency plumber from London, which was the original search, and I just changed the location to Bristol because London is not going to benefit me at all. Okay, I'm targeting the Brist uh, Bristol area only, so why would I bid on London? So simply just change it out for your location. Okay, so the next idea, now we have sort of emergency plumbers fixed. I'm seeing a 24 hour plumber pop up quite a lot. So you see all these ones? These are all 24 hour uh, emergency plumbing related. So my idea would be to have these sort of separated out into their own ad group. So from this, let's just sort of figure out what ad groups we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna call this one And then the next one we want to sort of do is, I would suggest Urgent Plumber. And 
potentially. Okay, so from that, we've sort of got an idea of the ad groups that we want to include. So initially, when we first started, we only knew emergency plumber as a sort of keyword. But from putting it into the keyword planner, we've sort of realized that there are other searches related to emergency plumber. So the ones that are popular are definitely emergency plumber, but 24 hour plumber. Urgent plumber was sort of in there. There was a little bit of demand and then also was same day plumber. So same day plumber would, my initial thought with same day plumber, it is actually probably going to be a bit less urgent in compared to an emergency plumber. But because there was demand, I'm going to put it in as an ad group and I'm just going to test it out. So we don't want to base um, <coughs> our decisions in marketing off our own opinion. Okay, because typically your opinion will be wrong. You want to let the data do the talking for you. So if you have some budgets there, you want to just test it towards it because you could be missing out on a really high converting keyword based on your own opinion of same day not being so uh, relevant to these searches. Okay, so I'm basically now just going to whiz through and do exactly what I did for Emergency Plumber and populate these sort of uh, ad groups with relevant keywords. Okay, so from this, we sort of have an idea of the keywords we're gonna be bidding for. But now we have them down, we've covered Emergency Plumber for sure, 24 Hour Plumber, and these ones we haven't really searched specifically. So my idea from now would be to go back to the search bar and do 24 Hour Plumber. So now we've sort of broadened the sort of ad group ideas we want, we want to go through the individual ad groups now and do specific searches for those. So once we're here, we just want to see if there's any other good keywords that we've sort of missed. No, no, so it's good to see basically that we pretty much sorted for 24 hour plumber there with those sort of keyword suggestions. So now I'm just gonna go back here and do urgent plumber. Yeah. So now we can see with Urgent Plumber, there is definitely some other keywords that we've missed uh, based on just the Emergency Plumber search alone. So this is why it's always good to go through. Emergency Plumbing Repairs, yes. So these are valuable keywords that we could have missed out on. Emergency, Urgent Plumber, cool. That's fantastic, okay. And then same again for Same Day Plumber. Got that same day plumber. Cool. So there's definitely, from what we can see, there is a lot less search volume for this. So I'm gonna stay away from the average searches that are zero to ten just because basically this one is more of a test ad group. And the way we either use our keyword match types, you know, we still get data through. Okay, so that is relatively it for starting this campaign I have. Okay, so what I would do from here is put these into these individual campaigns with the ad group sort of titles there. Uh, and then I would base my ad copy based off of that, okay? But if you really want to watch this video, uh, I'd recommend watching this video because it, it shows how you can really structure your ad copy. Uh, and it's probably the most valuable video I have on my channel. Okay. Um, but yeah, basically, so now we have this sort of general starting block for our keywords. That's great. We don't need to overthink it with a brand new campaign because I recommend using the phrase match uh, for the keyword type here. 
because what that will allow it to do is to gain some more data that could be the searches appearing before or after our quoted keyword here. So that will allow some more data to come through in terms of search terms. And that will give us some actual physical data of what people are searching. And from that, we will then add or exclude certain keywords based off that. Um, if you want me to do a video going into detail about that and how I'd put it into a campaign, just comment below. But yeah, that's it for this one. Hope that was uh, hope that was good. <laughs>